Okay, this is uh, rush hour in Dubai, going down Shadeside Road. And as you can see, um, six lane carriageway, and it's like a car park. Have a look. Six lanes. The time is six o'clock, nearly, 5.58. Now it started moving again, but it's absolutely ridiculous. Every night, if you're driving from, effectively from, towards Dubai, from or towards Sharjah, from the Abu Dhabi end of, uh, so it's like it started and then it will slow down again, and the speed is, it's 120 limit, and we're doing 50, and we're slowing down again. So, to a standstill yet again. It honestly turns into a car park most evenings. It just doesn't move. Look, everything's stationary. Oh, it's starting to move again. Six lane. By the way, the other thing is, uh, quite often, there are other... Well, give you an example. Today, I wit uh, not witnessed, but traffic is very slow coming to work on this road there was two accidents yesterday there was three accidents involving three taxis no less the taxi drivers are the worst they probably caused most of the, the accidents to be honest but uh, this is quite common as I say every day I mean you know it's not um, out of rush hour time it's a fairly fast road um, but you can see I mean through window you can see actually everything comes to a dead standstill. Majorly slow and here's the news update. And listen to the traffic update now as well. What a surprise, four car accident. But apparently everywhere, everything else is fine. So, this is my journey home. Literally, I've just done a viewing in um, the Meadows, which is part of Emirates Living. Um, it's up by behind sort of Jumeirah Lakes Towers, and I'm heading towards Financial Centre, which is where the Burj Khalifa is, world's tallest building. You can see that in the distance, and the Metro also up there. Ahead. Probably. Doubt if we'll catch that because this traffic will slow down again in a minute. Go slowing down again. Yep, stand still. By the way, I work over there, which is uh, the Dubai next to the Dubai Garden Centre. Commercial Bank of Dubai. Uh, taxis absolutely. Just going past uh, exit 43, which is the exit I take from the other side of the Shakeside Road in the morning to turn off to where I work, which is just off Alma and Ara Street uh, in Alcaz 3. Um, we're kind of getting quite close, a bit close, I should say, now towards home. Um, this journey without the traffic will take maybe no more than 15 minutes, but with this kind of um, traffic, 
it's more like 20, 25 minutes. So it adds about five to 10 minutes. Um, Coming up to Shakeside now. Uh, so down, come, should I say we're going down the Shakeside Road, coming up towards Burj Khalifa. You'll see it in the distance. By the way, the radio station I'm listening to is Coast FM. It's probably the equivalent to our Heart FM in the UK. It plays kind of like 80s, 90s music um, and some sort of up-to-date stuff, but it's nice, it's quite nostalgic for me. Um, and it reminds me of being home sometimes when I'm driving in the morning to work. So we've like very much the feel of uh, Heart FM kind of station. So yeah, it's quite nice, quite cool uh, and quite relaxing to some extent. Um, here we go. Coming slow down again. Starting to move. It's a good sign. Taxis are the worst. You can see them. Look. One there, one there. Front. And actually, one there as well. <laughs> They're everywhere. to complete standstill yet again can you believe it sometimes if this uh, if we stop for more than probably it's moving so that's all right but sometimes if it stops for more than a few seconds you start to wonder and have your doubts about whether there are actually whether there's been an accident further down the, in front of you because that's quite common and actually this has slowed right down um, so maybe there has been an accident up ahead I don't know um, anyway we'll see tomorrow got to do a visa run with the guys going up to uh, Oman again it comes around so quick honestly 40 days we do it within five week period but to be honest it seems to go like oh, there's a sign there for financial center that's the city side of uh, Dubai really which is where I live started moving and we're slowing down again. distance you will start to see uh, the financial centre, the city, it's kind of like the equivalent of being probably in the middle of London, central London. Um, it has its Canary Wharf area, it has its city financial area. Um, everything in Dubai really is a copycat of anything else they can pick up from the rest of the world. I think that's what it is really. I'm going to pan round now and you'll see what we're approaching.
this will be the entire journey home actually, the way we're going. Uh, I think I'm probably going to just keep uh, the camera running and um, so you see my approach to, um, to where I live. Okay, let's look forward. By the way, the bridge to the right side of me, the right hand side, is actually where the metro runs the length of um, Shakeside Road, which is, as I say, is one end of it is uh, Jebel Ali and the other end of it is uh, called Russia Dia, which is down by uh, Dubai Airport side. Approaching um, our Safa toll gate. Every time I go through that, it charges me five dirhams. So you can imagine if I'm passing that six times in a day, up and down. On, on average, I do actually obviously twice a day, so it's ten dirhams a day, like a couple of quid. But there's no road tax out here, so hence why that is the way it is. Right, I'm on the wrong lane, so I've got to dive out, because I'm going to be losing myself here. I've just actually missed my turning, probably because I'm holding this this phone video camera and phone, so I've missed my turning because I should have gone DIC under the bridge there. You can see that, so I've got to actually go now to take the Emirates Towers turn off now. But you do get to actually get a good look. Where you see that building has got sale lease, I live actually in the building next to that, which is called Liberty House. 
might have missed it now, but, but this is the heart of the financial centre, and uh, as I say, I missed my turning, so I've actually got to go now via uh, Emirates Towers turn off. Taking this next turn, which is Emirates Tower Station turning. If you keep going straight on the main Sheikh Zayed Road down there, that takes you down to Dubai Airport. You see the traffic already 